Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming pattern from the 1st to the 10th of February. We're going to be talking a little bit about that time period. We're going to start here with the European Ensemble model, and we can see that there's going to be colder temperatures there for Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Iowa, Wisconsin, the Great Lakes region as well. Very cold temperatures for that region, and we're really going to have warmer temperatures there for the south, southwest and the south central United States. Uh, but as we move on one frame here, you can see that that warm temperature really moves towards the eastern United States, and I know a lot of you don't want to hear that because this winter's already been uh, kind of quiet anyway uh, but it looks more quiet again uh, for this first at least first through 10th of February uh, and we're really gonna have those cold temperatures linger though for the Dakotas and, and Montana as well as well as the western United States towards the end there uh, but that's as far as the temperatures go we're gonna take a look at the GFS here in kind of the storm track over this time period and you can see there's a low pressure system located off the northern coast of California and as we move on one frame, that's going to move towards Colorado. And then one more, it's going to move up towards the Great Lakes and Wisconsin, Minnesota area. Notice this brings snow to a lot of those central, north central United States regions and rain, heavy rains to the southeastern United States and kind of south of the low pressure system itself. We're going to have one more here. Again, over Colorado, and this is the fifth. Uh, and, and then we're going to see that move again towards that Great Lakes region, bringing again heavy rain to the southeastern United States. Now, here's a little map that I put together, kind of breaking down this whole pattern that we just looked at. And again, this is the upcoming pattern for the 1st through the 10th. Uh, we see stormy there for the southwestern United States. And you can see where I put that low pressure system there for northern California. And that moves towards Colorado and then up towards the Great Lakes. Uh, we have dry for the northwestern United States up above the low pressure system, but we will have snow there for the Rocky Mountains, northern and southern Rocky Mountains. Uh, and then in that blue section, we have very cold and snowy. Uh, not very snowy, and some regions won't see snow, uh, but in general, near the low pressure system or just north of the low pressure system, we will be seeing snowy conditions uh, during the, these at least two low pressure systems that we'll see move through, quite strong low pressure systems, that is. Then we have our little red section there. That's where I think we will have severe storms at times. I know Friday we're looking at the potential for a little bit of severe weather going on there in northern Texas and southern Oklahoma. So we're starting to get a little bit of a sneak peek here at spring uh, as severe weather is starting to pop up here. This is the, one of the first severe weather events that I've seen uh, so far this year, I believe. And then we see the southeastern United States, lots of rain. Again, on those frames that I showed you guys back a little bit ago, you could see that those heavy rains were pretty consistent there through the southeastern United States, through the mid-Atlantic. Uh, so I expect to see this in both low pressure systems. So the, the trend over the 1st through the 10th will be lots of rain for you guys. Potential for thunderstorms at times as we will be having warmer than average temperatures again through that 1st through 10th time period. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you'll consider subscribing for future videos like this one. I do monthly forecasts, weekly forecasts, all sorts of snowstorm forecasts and other storm forecasts and I have lots of great plans for the future. Anyway guys, have a great first 10 days of your February.